Yo, what's good y'all? Back with another video in today's video. I'm gonna be showing y'all the best dribbling animation, you feel me? Now, after I do that, you feel me? I'll show you a little dribble tutorial, for me? Out of like the moves that I already know how to do and shit like that so far. You feel me? I ain't no dribble guard, but I, I know what I be doing, you feel me? I be cooking niggas up from time to time, you feel me? So, I'm gonna show you the best dribbling animation and give y'all a little tutorial of like, you know, what I know so far. But before we get into that, make sure to hit that like button. So, if y'all know, let's get straight to it. Alright, so for the six, you wanna make sure you have quick on for dribble, so you feel me? Now, Shifty is also I I think power is okay too for me, but quick is the best in, in my opinion shit like that. This is what most people use, I'm pretty sure. Quick is the best for me. I tried multiple. It's quick is just the best for me. Um uh, for signature size ups. Now D Rose and K Walk is what I see most people use. And they're pretty good, but me personally I just like use it like like Zach Levine, so that's what I use for me. But I would say either use Zach Levine or D Rose, you feel me? But K Walker is also good. So yeah, I don't know. You could pick out of these three. For me, you also gotta try off shit for yourself because you feel me. There's multiple that are good, so you just gotta use what like fits you best. For me, now um for signature combos, this is that shit where you just like I think you click out two, you yeah you click it and it just does you feel me this little animation. I don't I don't really use this at all to be honest. So it don't really matter. But I just pick um Trey Young because it looks good. You feel me? But. Um, that's up to you as well. Size of pie. Now, this is what you like. You feel me? This is what you want to have. You want to have Trey Young for this, all right? You want to have Trey Young. Um, Kobe, what was. I tried Kobe. I'm not sure what it. I think Kobe has a like. That, um. The behind the back, whatever you call it, from 2K20 or something. And LeBron James, if you want the AI step back, use LeBron James. But you won't get like you wouldn't you won't be able to curry slide and shit like that. Like it's just not the same animation. So the best is Trey Young. You feel me? You wanna go with this one, that's for sure. For moving crossovers, I use Curry. Curry's a really good one. Um There's other ones that you can use too. Like I've seen the animations. Like I scrolled through like when I was looking through the animations to buy them, like you feel me, it shows you obviously like how the animation looked before you, you feel me? When you hover over it, I was looking through them. There's some, there's some other ones that look good too, you feel me? I tried out the Kupos and fucking Jordan, but in my opinion, Curry is the best, you feel me? Um, moving behind the backs. You can, Damian Lillard is a good one. This is like, okay, from 2K20, this is like Pro 3 right here, you feel me? I think, I think it was... LeBron's, I'm not sure, but there's also one that looks like Pro 5. Like, bro, if you hover over, you'll see. So, you feel me? Just go to the animation store. If you want the one that was like Pro 5 from 2K20, feel me? Just just hover over. I think it was LeBron James or like somewhere near like the bottom, and you'll find Pro 5. But for me, Pro 3 is the best because it just, you feel me? It just launches you forward. Like, it gives you that like good speed, you feel me? And if you got hyperdrive, I'm pretty sure it helps you move faster too, feel me? So, I went with Damian Lillard. And then for moving spins, feel me? Just like, um, fucking 2K20, 2K21, basic one is just, for me? It's just really good. Now, for moving hesitation, Kevin Durant is what I've seen so far is the best. Like, every other animation just doesn't look good at all, to, to be honest to me. There was probably, like, one that was high, but Kevin Durant just looks like the best to me, for me? So, this is what I got on. And then, moving step back, um, this is the step back, like, from, what, like, 2K17? I never played and shit like that, for me, but this one, nigga, just been saying and shit like that, so... You wanna have Kyrie Irving on, this is like the best one for me. Um triple thread that doesn't matter and then for me park flashy, I don't got shit for that for me. So that's it for the um for the six. I'm gonna give y'all a little quick tutorial on like what I know so far. Alright, so what y'all wanna do to practice, y'all wanna go to y'all mic core and then you wanna invite like an NBA player, one of y'all teammates to the to your mic core. So I'm gonna invite this is who I invite to my shit. You just wanna invite them, you wanna wait till they join, and then you wanna start up a or is it a personal workout for me? Then you want to put yourself on offense so that you can dribble shit and then him on defense. This way you get to use like the whole court and you're able to practice your dribbling, all that shit you can shoot, you feel me, against an AI. I would say try and go with someone who's trash because I ain't gonna lie. The AIs be fucking, bro, they be devious, bro. Like it's ridiculous, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. They be on time, you feel me? So pick someone who's like trash at defense. I try to mile, you feel me? I don't know. You don't really be clamping me like that, you feel me? So. I just use him. So, for the momentum, I'm gonna start off with the momentum. So what you wanna do to momentum, is if the ball is in your right hand, you wanna flick the R stick up, and then you wanna flick the L stick diagonally to the left. So you get that, all right? Now if the ball is on your left hand, you wanna still flick the R stick up, but then you wanna move the L stick diagonally up to the right, feel me? So you wanna, you just wanna keep on doing that back and forth. 
don't do it too fast or else like it's gonna give you that shitty ass animation so you want you feel me don't like don't go too slow you feel me you can take your time with it a little bit and then you can just spam it and then you can do like between the legs out of that shit too you feel me all right so for the glitchy crossover you feel me i see multiple people trying to show niggas how to do and shit like that and like the directions they like tell niggas to do with the r's like the r and left stick it just never like i just had to kind of like figure it out on my own you feel me like it just i don't know it just didn't work for me so what you want to do how i do it is you want to hold r2 and then you want to flick if the ball is in your left hand you want to flick the r stick to the right you feel me like straight to the right but the l stick you want to flick it like you want to flick it to the right as well but just instead of like straight to the right you want to put it up a little bit but not like not so much so that like where it's really like top right diagonally just just a little bit you feel me and it's, that's how i get it and then once the ball is in your right hand you flick the r stick to the left feel me and then the l stick to the left as well but just a little bit above that and you'll get that All right, there. See, I got the hang of it, you feel me? And then you just keep on doing that. Like, once you get, like, the hang of it, you get used to, like, like you know, the exact direction to where you got to move your L stick, you feel me? You're going to be cooling. You feel me? So, just keep on doing that. And then sometimes you can momentum and then do that shit, you feel me? You can combo up with it. Now, for the behind the back, if the ball is in your left hand, you want to flick the R stick diagonally down to the right. And then you want to flick the L stick diagonally up to the right, you feel me? And then you're going to get this. And then you just do the opposite for the other side and you just keep on doing it, you feel me? Let me just do that. Now for the curry side, in case y'all don't know, it's easy. Now the curry side is not like the exact one from like 2K21. Because the animation is just not here yet, but you feel me? It's, not, it's something similar. So what you want to do is you want to hold R2 as well. And you just want to flick the R stick diagonally to the right. That's all you want to do. If the ball is in the right hand, you just do it diagonally down to the left. Let me just go back and forth. Feel me? And you just do that. Now, for the crab, for the um, long cro crossover to do the crab, what you want to do is you want to hold R2. And you want to flick the um, the right stick diagonally up to the left. If the ball is in your, in your right hand, you feel me? You want to get this animation right here. Same thing if the if the ball is in your left hand, you flick the R stick diagonally up to the right. Feel me? And you can just go back and forth. Now to speed boost out of this, what you want to do is you gotta be holding R2, like I said. Once you do it, you wanna see I did it too slow. As soon as you do it, you wanna give it like just a little bit, right? As soon as you see it kind of move, hold on, wait, wait. You want to move the L stick to that direction too. If you do it too quick, you're just going to end up doing the momentum. You feel me? So you want to give it a quick second. See, I did it too slow. See, you got you to gotta have good timing. If you do it too quick, you're going to get the momentum. If you do it too slow, see, see how momentum, I'm doing it too quick. Then you do it like that. If you do it too slow, hold on. Let me show you which I'm going to get. This is like this shitty little move that just makes you go slower. I did it right. Hold on. See that right there, you don't want to get that. See that right there, that shit's, that shit's ass. So you want to make sure you, you just keep on practicing, you're going to get the timer down, you feel me? You're going to be cooling. All right, so what else is there? Um, You can still do the study slide, you feel me? You just go here, then you stop, then you do it between the legs and you go back. So, so all right, so let's say I curry slide, I come, bro, this thing is so annoying, bro, I ain't gonna lie. So if you, okay, hold on, I got you, I got you. All right. Curry side, for example, you go right here, right? Then what you want to do is just flick your right stick to the left. You feel me? You're going to do that little between the legs. So if you're, bro, it keeps on switching fucking hands. I don't want it to, bro. Back the fuck up. Hold on. I'm just about to do it back here, bro. What am I even doing, bro? Hold on. Feel me? I go like this, between the legs, you go back. All right? Now you want to also, like, once you do the between the legs, you want to hold R2 before you start moving back to run back. Because if you don't, hold on. It's gonna give you that shitty ass animation, feel me? Same thing, like, you wanna make sure you hold R2 and you time it at the right time. So that you can do it quick and go back, you feel me? Alright, so, um, let's see, what about us, what else? Oh yeah, 2K17 step back, feel me? It's easy, just, you run in direction, you just flick the R stick down. Get momentum out of it. Oh, the, the, the heavy, the side heavy, alright. 
So what you want to do for this, for the Hezzy, right? If the ball is in your right hand, you want to hold R2 and flick the R stick to the right. Feel me? And get this. Alright? Now to speed boost out a bit, what you want to do is um, you want to flick it, right? And then as soon as you flick it, you start moving while holding R2 into that same direction. Alright? If you don't um, do it like quick enough, it's going to give you that shitty as animation. Feel me? So it goes, that, bro, that animation is the same for like, feel me, if you want to steady slide, do a long cross. Whenever you're trying to like kind of speed boost, and just like keep on going like as fast as you can in the same direction like you want to make sure like you're doing it at the right timing and holding r2 if not it's gonna give you a little animation because you took too long for me and when it comes to the crossover if you do it too quick you're just gonna get the momentum for me so and same thing with the other hand if the ball is in your left hand you want to hold r2 flick the l stick to the left and then the speed boost for me you just want to move in that direction as soon as you click it And then over oh, the walk back too. I right. the walk back. This is another thing. This is very effective too. Um, if you're going right, I right, so instead of like this kind of works like a spin back type shape for me. So let's say you're about to drive in, right? Curry said I drive in. You stop. You gotta let go of everything, and then you just hold the L stick downwards, and you start. You're gonna start walking back. I right, now this be killing it sometimes. Like actually, for me, this is very effective. So you just for me drive in, let go of everything, start walking back, and then you split it for me. So. Let me see if I can do it right here. Walk back, shoot it for me. Don't don't mind the shot. I'm just for me giving you an example. Walk back, shoot that bitch for me. Um, so yeah, that's really effective. I ain't gonna lie. That's a good move to know. And then you feel me? You just you just learn. You just keep on practicing all these moves. You just learn how to combo it up your own way and shit. Now to do, um, by the way, hyper drive. If y'all don't know, is a very good bad. That shit helps you like for me when coming down the court, just in general dribbling. Your dribble moves will be faster. Quick chain, quick chain only works though when you're doing like um, animations like this. For me, dribble moves like this. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just flicking the else, not the else, like the right stick, like to the left, to the right, um, diagonally down, diagonally up, and shit like that. You feel me? Without holding R2. So for me, quick chain is gonna help you do all of this shit as quick as possible and shit like that. You feel me? So I don't really use it. So that's why like. Um, sometimes I'll take quick chain off or I'll just keep it um, silver but I just had it on because I guess I was using it last night or whatever for me but I don't be really doing that shit like that so you feel me I don't I don't really need a Hall of Fame but if you like to use those shit those combos and shit then you can you for sure want to have it on Hall of Fame so you can have it as quick as possible but uh, what else is there hold on let me see oh another move is okay so when you're coming down the court you feel me in order to do like the behind the back the moving behind the back what you want to do is you don't have to hold R2 for this. You just want to move the L stick up or whatever. You just want to move up, right? And as you're doing that, if the ball is in your right hand, you want to flick the R stick diagonally down to the left. Feel me? So, and you're going to get that. If the ball is in your left hand, you want to move forward and flick the R stick diagonally down to the right. Feel me? And you just, feel me? You just want to practice all these moves. Feel me? And then once you like work on a single move, if you don't know how to do it, practice it. And then once you get it down, feel me, you can put all those together, com combo up how you want. And you feel me? And just cook up and shit like that. Feel me? All right, so I maxed out my playmaking batteries, right? And I wanted to show all this. So you feel me? I've been using um, hyperdrive, quick chain. I try to tiny handles, feel me? Stop and go and shit like that. And bro, I'm telling you right now, tiny handles, when I use it, it ain't, bro, it ain't even like pop up. Like that shit really don't work like that, feel me? And I think this is just more for like, um, when you just move your R stick like without holding R2 like I like for me when I mentioned beforehand, just like quick chain. So like I don't really use that those type of moves like that, so I don't even need it at all. Stop and go, I used it and it pops up like like all the time after like I do a certain move. But like I didn't see no difference like me going like quicker or anything. For me it says allow for the bar to start and stop quickly. Like I don't really feel no difference. I might like for me try it again a silver hall of fame or some shit yeah, you feel me see what it does but so far these two right here don't do shit you feel me now quick chain like i said it's only for when you're doing those like um those signature size ups or whatever they're called just moving your art stick without like holding our tour or anything to make them you know make those combos quicker i personally i don't use those like that you feel me so i don't really need it i just had it on hyperdrive though hyperdrive pops up like for me almost all the time whenever you come down court and just dribbling in general Whatever you move you do, it, it'll just be quicker, you feel me? So hyperdrive is a really good batch to have on. 
Now, obviously, you want to have a pluggable, quick first step. I know for days, like other shit, you feel me? Bail out, I have it on Hall of Fame just, you feel me, for the bad setup, it really looks nice. But you only need it like silver, you feel me? It was really good on bronze in like previous 2Ks, but I feel like low key silver is like the spot right now, because, you feel me, on bronze, I'd be bailing out sometimes, and it's like, when the when the person on passes two catches the ball is just like all fucked up you feel me they gotta like pick it up it takes some time so i feel like silver's just best for its side for me um and then yeah i tried go hands go hands is pretty good for me same thing with bullet passer they do what they gotta do and yeah that's it i just you feel me i maxed out these badges and i've tried them so you feel me i just wanted to let y'all know like what the for me the best badges in my opinion were for playmaking all right that's the end of the video for me hopefully this video helped you out but Try to hit that like button, sub, try to run, I'm fucking out of here, I think it's easy.